Hi there, so we have achieved a remarkable weight of about 2.12 kg with these broilers in just four weeks of their life. But if that doesn't sound big enough, let me even tell you that they are organic. Yeah, we have only raised them on herbs and spices. And maybe that's not also big enough. Did you know that I've only spent about 1,200 naira on their medications? And that's just about uh, $1.2 dollars. That's just about 1.2 US dollars on their medication for a whole month. And we have about 100 broilers and 50 layers. We have about 150 birds in here. And in four weeks, we've only spent this amount. Trust me, and we have been able to achieve this massive weight here. Yeah. But the focus of this video is not to brag, but to share with you, maybe some of you out there, you've been able to achieve good weight at some point in your farm. Maybe three, at three weeks, you got some good weight. At four weeks, you got some good weight. And by the time they are five weeks old, they began to lose weight and the whole thing turns upside down. Here are some of the things that you might be getting wrong on your farm. And you need to really pay attention to this but before we continue if you think you like what you're seeing or you like to see more of this make sure you click that like button on the screen and also subscribe to the channel so you get to see more of my videos one thing that i noticed is that farmers relax when they are able to achieve good weight and they are around three weeks or four weeks and maybe the target is five to six weeks and they think okay in just two weeks this birds will be out and they relax but they don't know that there are some diseases among your flock that are just like a time bomb they're waiting for that time to explode and you know one of it is coccidiosis and the other is chronic respiratory disease yeah some people battle with chronic respiratory disease and even coccidiosis early in life but there are some points where maybe you have used the medication in the beginning maybe the brooding stage and later you felt okay they have overcome it and everything is fine but suddenly because you began to relax on your medications maybe you are using herbs and spices or you are using antibiotics because you began to relax on your medications then things go awire so suddenly you have a very solid outbreak of coccidiosis among the flock and that's what you begin to battle with and you know that when coxie eats them so strong they are not able to eat well and their intestine is damaged too is compromised they are not able to even digest the feed that they are eating they are, the ones they are managing to eat they are not able to digest it well so this is the time to actually ensure that your birds are in perfect health and you make sure that you fight coccidiosis or crd so you make sure that you check the flock on a daily basis what i do is i come out early in the morning when there's less activity among the flock and i check the litter properly for any sign of coxie and I also listen closely to the sound that the birds are making because if they have CRD you will definitely hear that rails you will hear the snoring the sneezing sound and all those things so it is very important to do that another thing that farmers lose guard on is it's stress yeah it's stress you know uh, luckily here I did not have to overstock them so they have good space as a matter of fact I've only had to change the litter just once so each stress is a major thing to really watch out for when the birds are especially up to four weeks of age because a sudden spike in the temperature a sudden heat flash can just lead to high mortality among the flock and did you know that each stress can also compromise their immune system and because of that once they get affected by each stress suddenly you see that all manner of diseases that their body has been fighting earlier in life will just start to beat them so be it the coccidiosis the crd that we talked about after a serious battle with each stress you can see that many of them will come down with that disease and it begins to create a problem for you or your farm so what do you do to prevent each stress you see you don't get greedy with feeding the birds maybe because you see that they are really maximizing the feed that they are eating and you still want to feed them so much even after three weeks after four weeks don't get greedy it's a normal practice to raise the feeders yeah like this you lift the feeders up so that you stop their access to feed in the afternoon anytime from 11 12 noon you stop them from eating and you resume later in the evening that would ensure that they take time to digest the feed and during the time where the temperature is really hot and they are trying to manage themselves they don't have so much in their digestive system to digest you know because the process of digesting food also generates a lot of heat and if you are 
very observant if you carry a broiler bird in the afternoon and you place your hand under the chest this one is actually not so bad but they are always hot or warm so imagine that you still allow them to heat so much in the afternoon <sighs> they might just enter into its shock all right and another thing you want to do is you ensure that there is water all the time all the time and that's why i encourage drinkers like this this automatic drinker all you need to do is just ensure that there's water inside the tank that supplies them and you just go to rest as a matter of fact you can do without entering inside the chicken house until you have to drop the feeders again okay so that's for each stress make sure that you reduce the amount of stress that they are exposed to as much as possible also don't even enter their pen during the hot period of the day let them have all the space to themselves make sure that the ventilation is right you know they have to have cross ventilation make sure that enough breeze is blowing into the chicken house all right so another thing that you might want to do especially if you have a large flock and you notice some inconsistencies with their weight you see that the uniformity in the weight is not encouraging like what we have here trust me the uniformity is it is impressive they are all looking so good a few of them are not so big they are around 1.7 kg 1.8 kg a lot of them around 1.9 to 2 point something kg and some of them are even as high as 2.2 kg so that's pretty okay so in the case where you have a large flock and you see some discrepancies in their weight what you want to do also is sorting yeah it's okay to sort especially when you have just about two weeks for you to harvest the flock you want to make sure that you do you carry out sorting and sorting entails you taking the bigger ones maybe it could just be in two places you separate the bigger ones of a particular weight range maybe 1.9 for example 1.9 to 2.1 kg you can just put them somewhere and maybe you have in your own case maybe you have 1.5 you have 1.4 you have one point up to 1.7 you just put them again and put them in a separate place that ensures that you are giving those smaller ones the opportunity to gain some weight some extra weight and also if the number of feeders and drinkers if it is not adequate make sure that you check that ensure that when you are feeding them all of them have access to feed at the same time that's a way to ensure that they all gain weight because if you are dealing with a large flock an extra 120 grams per bird means a lot and i tell you in three days you can gain some crazy weight if you do what is right and the next one i want to talk about is more targeted towards the customer welfare and this is a note of warning to every chicken producer out there to every chicken farmer every poultry farmer out there if you're raising your broiler flock for example for five to six weeks and up until the fifth week and even the beginning of the sixth week you are still loading them with antibiotics you are still loading them with antibiotics and maybe you just stop about one day or two days before you sell them off that's very bad because most of the antibiotics that we use they somehow find their way inside the chicken and inside the meat that we are eating as humans so as much as possible this period the third to the fourth week is the time when you need to do all the kinds of aggressive treatment that you may need to do because most of these drugs have withdrawal period of about 10 to 14 days some of them maybe five days seven days but we need to prepare our mind as farmers to ensure that between 10 and 14 days to slaughter the birds are not taking any kind of antibiotics so between the third and fourth week is the time when you need to do all kinds of aggressive treatment you do serious monitoring of their health you try to check out if there's any need for treatment and you do any treatment that is needed you make sure that it is aggressive so that after that period you stop using antibiotics and then through effective management you can ensure that those diseases are not coming back that the birds are doing well don't forget don't overstock if you don't overstock the house you have a better chance of winning against diseases and this is where those of us who practice organic poultry farming have an advantage even up to the fifth week you can still give herbs and spices to our chickens and they'll be doing excellently well and any consumer who eats them apart from the fact that they are eating healthy meat they would even testify in the taste of the meat so it's incredible and to be able to achieve a kind of result that i have here 
you can sign up for my organic poultry course it's a video course where i'm using this batch of chickens to train you on how to raise your birds from start to finish i'm also adding layers because i also want to show that it is possible to do this thing with layers